to Raleigh, North Carolina, along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. The puck is set to be dropped here. The championship on the line for this one. Are you nervous or more excited as a player? I think you're more excited, but the real challenge is don't look at what might be sitting there at the end of the game. Play the game moment to moment. Opening face-off is just seconds away. The quest for Lord Stanley's mug continues right here tonight, and we are underway. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here they come up along the wing. Pokes the puck away. Great balance as he scoops it back up. Can't connect. Keeps control of the puck after taking a little knock. Sends a pass over. Ajo's taking it from his own end. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Vancouver's on the attack. A blast! And the traffic neutral. Puck scooped up by Besser. Moves it to Pedersen. Here they are on the attack. And they can't connect! Puck picked up by Carolina. Carolina's on the attack. Strong defensive effort. Feeds the puck over to Pedersen. And now he tries to get it across to Yamamoto. And we'll get a face-off at the other end of the ice. Now, I like the rule they put in a few years ago, James, where the defensive team can't change. Uh, to me, that makes a big difference as to what was a pretty boring play before. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Whoa. He scores! I don't think anybody's really settled into the game yet. Already we have the game's first goal. The offensive team is going to control this face-off. The goalie needs to make the save, though. He's got tired players on the ice after the icing. He can't bail anybody out. The Canucks get a hold of the puck off the draw. Nice feed at center moves up ahead now. Moves it quickly over to Sergachev. Pays it off! Dubnik's got the puck, and he's going to go for the whistle here. He hasn't had a lot to do this period, but he's been excellent and has been able to control the pace of play. The Canucks win the draw. Taken by Sergachev. Makes the save! Dubnik's simply going to slow it down here. Ray, do you like the strategy? I do, but he hasn't touched the puck much this period, James, so you get to handle it a little bit here and maybe a little nervous, so you jump on it and get to reset. And now it's grabbed by Sergachev. Nice save from point blank range. I like the goalies, but go ahead, goal. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Carolina's up one zip. Sorelli's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Couldn't complete the play. Steps across the blue line. Textbook stopped by Demko. The singles got it deep in the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Pesci. Demko's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Trocek's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Quick shot and makes the save. Another stop by the goaltender. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. Along the half wall with the puck. Nice feed from the boards. And that goes off a player in front. Moves across the point. Tees it up from the point. Puck grabbed by Trocek. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. And makes the save. Now over to Mott. And down he goes as the puck goes free. The Hurricanes have it against the wall. McGinn stick handling in his own zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. Centering pass, and a stick in the lane ends that threat. Floats the saucer pass. Centering pass, and that one's turned away. Feeds it to McGinn. 
gets control of the puck here in his own end. And now he angles it across to McGinn. The Canucks will play it in their own end. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. The Canucks have it behind the cage. Quick feed to Horvath. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Puts it up front, and that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Let's see who's off to the box. Niederreiter's going off for charging. That's going to get called every time, James. It's yep. a too long a race into the hit. The Canucks get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Well, good news for them as they trail by one, they get a power play. The key here, though, James, is to be confident without pressing. Just get the puck to the net, make the penalty killer stress. Vancouver's looking to break out. Across the line. Vancouver's got the puck against the half wall. Drives it to the crease. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Moves it to Miller. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Scooped up along the wall by Dezingle. Throws it in. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Carolina's penalty killers get a hold of it. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Puck dumped in deep, allowing for the defenseman to change. Ryan's got it in the defensive end. Cutting to the slot, and puts it wide of the cage. Man, it tells you how close it can be. If that's two inches to the other side, it's off the post and in. Puck slid down the ice. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Wrist one off the crossbar. What an up. Special teams coming up huge on that goal. They take advantage of having the extra man by moving the puck quickly. That's a beautiful goal. opening was and takes that pass the one time it passed the goalie here in the later stages of this period the next goal could be a big one as we are tied here's a chance out front scores just 20 seconds apart that's a pair of goals wow insane how quick that was bang bang yeah the defending team just couldn't put a snake in the ground they couldn't stop them a sweet feed there the butterfly pass goes across and the shooter doesn't miss. Vancouver's effort pays off and they take the one goal lead. You can't even really relax. I mean, it's so much time left in the game. You've got the lead. That's great. Now go and get another one. The Hurricanes win the draw here in the neutral zone. Now a quick pass to Fogel. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Vancouver's got the puck in their own end. Slides it across to Sergachev. They've got numbers to his teammate. Can't connect. Mott's exploring options with the puck. Handles it along the blue line. Quick pass to Mott. Blocked in traffic. Picked up along the boards by Gudis. Through center along the wing. Look out, a two on one. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Can't hang on after that hit. Why put it in the back of the net and we're tied. They've worked hard for this goal. They get the chance. They finally put it away. And now everything, as you mentioned, is all level. Here in the late going to the frame, we got a tie game. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Puck scooped up by Svechnikov. The Canucks gain control of it. Moves it quickly over to Miller. Slides it across. Pays him in with the glove. Puck picked up by Tara Vinan. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Puts it on net. Denied by the goaltender. 
slides the puck over. Tees it up, can't get it to go. That's the end of the first period, and a pretty good one at that. Fans, don't forget to get the seats you want to the games you want by purchasing one of our six-game ticket packets today. Still lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on EA Sports. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. Been a fun one so far. Neither side giving an inch. Still tied here as we open things up in the second. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. Carolina's focus going forward is going to be to hold on to the puck much better than they did in that turnover-prone first period. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We are all tied up in this one. Ajo's won it off the faceoff. Carolina's got it along the wall. Loses his balance on the play. And now he moves it to Pedersen. Vancouver's moving it up the ice. Here's a chance to set up now. Coughs up the puck after that hit. That's a beautiful pad saved by the goalie there. Shays moving the puck through his own zone. Skates to the crease. Stones him in front. Knocked away. Taken by Ajo. And now it's grabbed by Terabinen. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Puts it in for the go-ahead goal. Control the game now. You finally got the lead. You worked so hard to get in front. Don't give it up now. No way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one-timed into the net. The Canucks' hard work finally pays off with a one-goal lead in the second. That was a lot of effort just to get to the lead. Now you want to stay aggressive so you don't give it back. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Feeds it over to Fogel. They go on the attack from the left side. Vancouver got the puck. The Canucks will play it from the defensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Pugliarvi. Couldn't make that one happen. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. Takes the pass. Carolina's gained possession. They fight for it along the boards. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. And they'll dump it in. Grabbed along the board by Horvat. Stopped by the goaltender. Sharp reaction save. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Canucks are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. Vancouver's won the faceoff. And now it's over to Petrie. From the top of the offensive zone here. Misses high. You can't miss that up high there. It's just there's no chance for a rebound. No chance to keep the play going. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Here's a short pass to Sorelli. Fires it into the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Ryan. Oh, what a stop by Dubnik. Handles the puck. Oh, he'll feel that one. Can't catch up to the pass. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Great stick work with the steal. Picked off in the open ice. The Canucks played along the wing. Move to the middle. Here he is in front. Beautiful glove stop on that one. Yeah, he makes a nice save here with the glove, as you mentioned. But he's able to hang on to it. That's a tough save from this position on the ice. Vancouver's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Here's a shot. Shuts them down. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Big save by the goaltender once again. 
Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Up he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. The centers will glide into the dot. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. That's a big yeah. time hit along the wall. It is James, I love the way he used the angle. He took away all the ice. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. And sends it just out of reach. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Oh, what a move in close. Made the save on the play. Oh, I want to see that again, guys. Roll it again. The player thinks he's got all kinds of room, but he doesn't. He's out of space. Right there is a big hit. Well past the midway mark of this period, Vancouver's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. Pedersen's won it in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Besser. Keeps hold of the puck. Look at the Savardian spinorama. Takes the feed. Nice zone entry from the middle. Shot, and he comes up with it. Quick feed to Miller. Takes the feed from his netminder. Nice pass. Here's a chance. Rister, and the shot dies in the traffic jam. Niederreiter's got it into offensive territory. Here's a chance right in the slot, and it doesn't get much better than that. Oh, oh he's in a great spot to score, but he misses the net over top. Couldn't find the intended target. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Move to the middle, and that's blocked. Miller's working it around in the corner. How did he stop that one? Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Sends it over to Miller. Moves it to Horvat. Cuts to the paint. Stopped by the goaltender. Great reflexes, another save. He's right on it. Two consecutive saves. Tough ones at that. The Canucks have been the more active squad, and they continue to lead late in the second period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Puts it wide. Yeah, I know he's looking for the perfect shot, and he's going to be disappointed that he didn't get it on the cage. Quick pass to Horvath, and tries to make a diagonal pass to Yamamoto. Great chance in front. Can't connect, and they can't convert to the play. Scores! There it is from Bo Horvath. The good thing he one times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Vancouver's looking to preserve this two-goal lead right to the intermission. Well, they'd love to get it in the spot that they're in, and then guaranteed the coaches will talk about there's still 20 minutes left. Stay after it. Here he is in front! Blocked away by Dubnik. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. And we've got a two-on-one. Takes the feed. No room for that one to get through. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Vancouver's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. The icing would have worn them down. That's a big face-off win for them. Puck dumped in. Right in front! Oh, what a stop by Dubnik! Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. And loses possession after a solid hit. Still anyone's game, especially the way these two teams have been producing offensively as the second period comes to an end.
Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? The Hurricanes are losing, and it's really no surprise. As hard as they've worked, they haven't had their hands on the puck very much, and as a result, no offense. Carolina's looking... Svechnikov swooping in on the attack. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Lots of time left in this period. The Canucks have some breathing room as they lead by a pair. It's 4-2. And they fail to go tape to tape. Down the right side and into the zone. Centering pass. Lowers the boom with that hit. Hughes grabs the puck inside his own territory. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Pokes the puck away. Ajo's gonna play it against the half wall. Fires one, and that carries off a stick. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Takes the shot, denies him on a slaughter. The Canucks lead this one early in the third period. They have been the more aggressive team offensively with the lead in the shot department. Sorelli's won a big draw on their own end. Slides the puck across to Ryan. Moves it quickly over to Niederreiter. He was left in there. He's on it. Good chance, but he's able to glove that shot. The centermen glide into position. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Ryan. Sends it in deep. Carolina's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves it over to Gardner. Here's a short pass to Fogel. Carolina's got a hold of it along the wall. Right in the slot. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. The Hurricanes have it in the offensive end. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. Great poise here as he gets it back. Quick feed to Fogel. Oh, gets a glove on it to make the stop. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Canucks lead it 4-2. The Hurricanes will go to work here in the offensive zone. Takes a shot, and that one's stopped. Puck grabbed by Williams, and another stop. Demko's had a solid night here. Save percentage is really good while they've built a comfortable lead. Right to the middle, takes a wrist shot, stopped by the goaltender. Taken along the wall by Mott. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Through pass ahead. The Hurricanes have it from the corner. Puck scooped up by Dezingle. And now he moves it quickly to Fleury. Centering pass! Here he is from the slot! His reflexes on display tonight. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it outside. Nice job tying up his opponent. Takes that one right in the logo. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Vancouver's got possession here in their own end. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Moves it on over to Pedersen. Can't find his man. Manages to hang on. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Nothing doing on that. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck in their own end. Carolina's ready to go on the attack. Rips it and rips it. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Pedersen's got it against the boards. With the blast. Puck picked up by Hamilton. Looking to make something happen at center. They've got the defense outnumbered. 
Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Demko's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Slides it on over to Pugliarvi. Wax it into the offensive zone. A chance on goal. Just wide. Scooped up along the wall by Petrie. And a strong effort on that play. There's another stop. Here in the back half of this period, it's 4-2. Vancouver's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Let's it fly. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Moves it to Shea. That pass goes a little sideways. Horvat's got the puck in his own zone. Passes right to the front. Comes up with the stop. Dubnik's got the puck. Boy, he's been under fire tonight. He's been really sharp, and in a close game, you can't make a mistake that costs a critical goal. The Canucks have been the busier team in the shot department, and they lead it late in this third period. That's off a stick. Taken by Pesci. The Hurricanes move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Puts it to the front of the net, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Icing's the call. You know the coaching staff's not going to love that one. Well, I can think of about three plays he could have made other than that one, but hey, that's the way it goes. Now you need your centerman to win a draw. Grabs the puck. Roussel's moving it ahead. Puts it towards the net, and that's blocked away. Picked up along the boards by Pesci. Vancouver's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Dubnik's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. Carolina's got it in the defensive zone. Up along the wing. Here's an odd man rush. From point blank range, wide of the net. Late in this game, that might be their best chance to score. He just doesn't capitalize. In the final moments of this period, Vancouver's been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Here they come, three of them. Carolina's got control of it now from their own end. Under a minute to go in the third. Carolina's trailing, that's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. Misses the net. Grabbed along the board, a chance to end it, misses. Here's a race for the loose puck. Quick pass to Petrie, couldn't complete the play. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Moves it quickly over, scores! It's a Hurricanes goal! the goalie out of the net, you get pressure to the net, and now you're able with the extra man to capitalize. The Canucks lead it late in this third period. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Dished on over to Pedersen. Here's a short pass, it scores! You give up one, you can't fold. You gotta punch back, and they get one quickly after giving up a goal. It's like that old song, I get knocked down, but I get up again. Goalie's trying to read here. He gets out at the top of his crease, makes the move to the butterfly, still gets beat up over the blocker. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Back at the point, they set it up. Carolina's goalie is on the bench. The extra attacker has jumped into the play. And there's the insurance marker much needed for them on this night. It's amazing how many times a guy misses an empty net, but this one he puts between the pipes. They'd really have to screw this up now, James, to lose. The empty netter should put it away.
Vancouver's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. The Canucks win it. Have you met Lord Stanley? Well, you're about to hear as they are about to win the most coveted prize in hockey. Puts the puck on net. That'll do it. And man, oh man, what a special night. Not only are they Stanley Cup champions, they've also immortalized themselves with their names on the cup. What an amazing accomplishment. We see it year after year. The celebrations are so similar, but each one of them a little different and certainly more personal for each of these guys. You can sense that anticipation to hoist the cup, but a pretty respectful moment here, Razor. The fact of the matter is everybody has lost way more than they've won. And so even though you're on the winning side, you know what everybody else is feeling. It's funny, it's a beautiful trophy, your playoff MVP, and yet nobody seems to really want to hold on to it, Ray. No, because everybody in the building, including the players, is waiting for the next one to be out there and to be presented. And that, of course, is the Stanley Cup. Well, this is the perks of being one of the leaders here. You get to collect the Stanley Cup first. Yes, but I think the most important thing is these guys will be tied together forever. Their names will be on that trophy. They'll have reunions, and it won't be who held it first. It'll uh, be but that we all okay, have Ray. Dibs are okay. Sure, but it's not going to matter in 10 seconds. <laughs> Ray, you're right down there at the ice. Give me a sense of the emotion. Well, everybody's just babbling away. There, It's like nobody's really making any sense. They're so excited, hug on to each other. They're looking at the trophy. They can't wait for their turn to carry it around the ice. I got goosebumps even up here. As they gather for the team photo, there are your Stanley Cup champions. This is the emotional picture, the one with the cup for the first time. The polished one will be in a couple of days when everybody's shaved their beards and combed their hair.